All right. So I'm just going to start this off with a question. Has Paul George earned back the nickname Playoff P? If we're talking about the second half, yeah. Dude, he had 41 points, man. Dude, okay, I hate the Clippers. I hate the Clippers, but I mean, dude, they're looking pretty good right now, and they're doing this all without Kawhi to the point that I actually think that they're a little bit better without Kawhi. I mean, maybe not. Uh, who knows? But they're playing really, really well right now. Uh, I mean, strong. And on top of it, the th- while I do still feel that the Suns are going to win this series, it's not stupid to think that it's going to go to seven games. Game six is in L.A., and the Clippers play pretty well when they're at home. I think it's pretty safe to honestly assume that it'll go to seven games. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, all right, so let's talk about a little bit about, um, so what was this? This was game five? Yeah. So yeah, it was game like, five. Yeah, it's, it's tough to keep up with all these. But uh, so, dude, this team's just different than last year. This team's completely different. I, um, and in, unfortunately, you know, I love Doc Rivers, but this is kind of a testament to show that the team's issues last year wasn't because of the roster. It was because of Doc. And this team, they're doing this with Ty Lu, who's made some pretty good coaching decisions. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Like, for example, like when they went small against the Jazz, that was smart. Super smart. That was super smart. Doc would have never made that adjustment. No, never would have made that adjustment. I still think that they could be like make advance their ball movement a little bit more. I, I don't feel like they move the ball around very much. It's just that they have some freaks that can get buckets. And so, uh, so let's, uh, so, but Paul George, ridiculous, 15 for 20, 41 points, 13 rebounds. He was a big, his rebounds were a big reason why they won because DeAndre Ayton played well, but not like DeAndre Ayton. No, not at all. He had, uh, I want to say what, like 13 points or something or no, he only had 10 points and like 13 rebounds, which don't get me wrong for a center. That's a solid game, but that's not what DeAndre Ayton does. Exactly. This is the number one overall pick and hopefully a future all-star. Yeah. Uh, Chris Paul played really well. Um, Devin Booker played really, really well. Um, but the thing is, is the Suns didn't play particularly bad. It's just that the Clippers they played really, really well. And it pains me to say this. Bro, Marcus Morris, he had 22 points. Reggie Jackson had 23 points. Boogie, bro, he still got it. He got 15. Boogie had 15? Yeah, he had 15 points. Yeah, dude. Th- this team is, th- they're showing that they have some grit. I forgot when we were talking about that. Remember when I told you, I was like, you know what? They just look tougher. Someone like a Boogie, someone like a Marcus. Like, those guys are freaking tough. Who do you have to go against that? Jay Crowder? That's it. <laughs> exactly. And, and boy, Jay Crowder did not look good tonight. He only had four points. And if you're going to give Jay Crowder and um, um, and Mikhail Bridges starting minutes, they can't be putting up a total of nine points. Together? To- together. They put up a total of nine points. And they both got played like 28 minutes. So, uh, cause Crowder only got four. He missed every three that he shot. And, um, and I get that they're defensive stop. I get that they're both defensive stoppers, but you're also playing starting minutes and you averaged at least double digits in the regular season. That's, you know, I, I, nine total, nine total, nine total points. And this is the game that they were supposed to win in Phoenix and they're going back to LA. I think it's, Safe to say that the Clippers are going to win game six. This is going to be a seven-game series. The Suns are going to really have to battle this out. I still think they're going to win, but I don't think it's ridiculous to say that the Clippers could figure it out. Not at all. Like, they're going home. Ty Lue made some good adjustments. I think, honestly, from what I see is that they're just playing tougher. They're playing stronger. They're going out for rebounds. They're not backing down when they get fouled. They're backing up into people. Like, they're playing basketball they're not giving up and you know what i think they're last not giving year, up you either know what I think last year i don't think i think they just thought they were so good that they're like they're we're gonna win like we're they, going to yeah. win they kind of needed to get humbled a little bit yeah yeah i think yeah that's a really good point them losing last year might have been the best thing to happen to them who knows i still think the, the suns are gonna win but i made a joke about this when the clippers went down O two saying that the Clippers have the Suns right where they ha- want them, right where they want them now because the last two series they've won and they were down O two, so um, this will be to be continued. But uh, we also got to talk about the game that is uh, well by the time this video comes out. So the game tonight uh, between the Bucks and the Hawks and this series is this series is really interesting because well, we uh, you're just you want to kind of take this yeah over. I do definitely want to get into it. So while this series is a two to one you know, uh, record right now. And the Hawks are only down by one game. 
I just don't see like like I'm entirely writing them off way too early. I understand that. Um, but unless Trey Young plans on dropping 48 points every week, every night, it's just not going to happen for them. So let's let's bring up some numbers, right? So G- Giannis's last three games, 34 and 12 and 19, or sorry, 34, 12 and 9, 25, 9 and 6, and 33, 11 and 4. And then Trey's last three games, 48, 7 and 11, 15 points, and a 35 points. But the Hawks don't have any offensive cog that they're running through. Like Drew Holiday had over 30 points in the first game. Yeah. And so, like, if you can drop 30 points and you have another guy that can do that, you're like, well, and with Trey Young being hurt, like, that's huge. That's I, super. It's, I like, like, John Collins is a good young guy. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, he's really but, good. But Bogdan Bogdanovich is not nearly as reliable as Chris Middleton. Exactly. Well, let's talk about Chris. Yeah. Chris Middleton had 15 points the first game, 15 points the second game. But we saw this in the series before against Brooklyn. Like, he went off. And in the last game, he went 38, 7, and 11. We traded him for Brandon Jennings. Uh, that's tough to be a Pistons fan. It's tough to be a Pistons fan. It only hurts to bring uh, it up. But, yeah. the, but, but the big... Drew Holiday has been ridiculous, too. You, you just need one of them to go off because Giannis has probably been the best player currently still in the playoffs. Yeah, of course he is. But yeah. at this, And he's consistent. You can count on him to get at least 25 points. So you're like, okay, Giannis Easily. can get 25. Where else are we going to get our points from? And then you're looking at Drew. You're looking at Chris. If you get even, 18 to 20 dude, you're even guys. looking at Pat Connaughton sometimes. You're even looking at Brooke mm-hmm. Lopez. Like, these, are, dude, they have four all-stars they'll, they'll on the starting roster. They'll 15-20 sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And so th- that's all you need when Giannis is going to be getting like a billion rebounds a game. Exactly. And I think Mike Budenholzer's actually done a really good job, and he was actually really on the hot seat this year. I think I, he's done I a good— I don't know. He didn't make that many adjustments, though, against the Nets. I think, I, honestly, I think I think the biggest thing for him in this series is letting Chris Middleton play and letting his other players basically— rather than play through Giannis, which is what I saw with Brooklyn— I think he's like, dude, I clearly need just about Drew had 30 in the first game. You know what I mean? Giannis only had 25 in the second game. In the third game, Chris had 38. Like, that's huge. Mm-hmm. And then Brooke Lopez had like an 18-point game in there. That's true. So I I see way more spreading the ball around. I see way more running, not through just Giannis sprinting down the court in three steps and just dumping it. They just have Chris Middleton out there looking like a dentist, dropping 38 points, bro. He does look like a dentist. Probably do a great job, honestly. But he's really, really good. That guy can really shoot. It's gonna. I mean, the, I think that the Bucks are gonna be end it winning I think, this series. Yeah, the, I think the, the only gonna... way that the Hawks are gonna win this is if Trey goes off every single game, and it's just not realistic to think that any guy in the NBA is gonna go for forty eight. He had like eleven rebounds and seven assists in the game that they won, and they only won by three points. Bogdan Bogdanovich only got like four or five points that game. John Collins was good, but. You're not gonna if if your fucking shooting guard is getting you four points. Yeah, you know that's you're not gonna win. You're not gonna win championships. And thing is with Clint Capella is he's Clint. He is what he is. Yeah, he's a defensive presence that can put back boards. Yeah, he'll get your rebounds, but he's gonna get you eight to ten points a game. Yeah, maybe fifteen. Maybe on a great game. On a great game, he he's not an elite center. He'll get you rebounds. And he's not, and even then against uh, DeAndre Ayton, if for some reason they did beat the Bucks, he would get tossed around <laughs> by DeAndre Ayton. It's not going to be fun for Clint. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Uh, All right. So where do you, so where do you think? Uh, so I think it's safe to say that the Bucks are going to be winning this series because they they just have so much more talent. They have more experience. They the the Hawks literally have Trey Young, and I think John Collins is a good wingman, but he. On a great on a great team, he's a three at best. You know what I mean? He's not a he on a championship team. He should not be a two. No, and I totally agree. And I think this series is honestly going to end up. It's just that the East is fucking horrible. Yeah, <laughs> the East is we so can't make the eighth bad. seed. We had Blake Griffin, Andre, and Reggie Jack. Going to make the ace. Like I'm getting like... off topic, but. Um, <laughs> but They're talking yeah. about, he's talking about the Pistons, yeah, by the way. Uh, yeah. Being well, a Pistons fan is really awful. If like, I'm not a Pistons fan, I'm a Lakers fan. You know, then like I'm pissed because we lost in the playoffs. The Pistons, you know. <laughs> the, wait, we, that's that's a whole other video. Before we wrap it up, I kind of want to give my prediction. I think, I think for my series, Bucks Hawks. I think it it goes four two. That's fair. That's fair. I think I think the Hawks will probably get one more, one more when they when they're in Atlanta. Yeah, I think that it's probably going to go four two. I think it's going to go to seven with the Suns and the Clippers. I'm giving it about sixty percent to the Suns, forty percent to the Clippers. 
I think this is going to go to seven. I'd be really shocked. Um, who knows? This could be a hot take, and a couple days from now, uh, we could find out that I'm completely wrong. But who knows? Maybe we could see another Terrence Mann, you know, going off for come, like 35 points, like come, he did in the come back and shit on us if we're wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, let us know what you think. Follow us on our socials at Armchair Pods. Um, even if you want to just talk to us or something, tell us how your day's going. Tell us if you got a haircut or something. What what are you, what are you gonna be uh, making for dinner tonight? Just let us know. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.